channel. So today's video is coming a little bit late, but I wanted to film a what I got for Christmas 2021. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. This is one of my favorite videos of the year to film because I really love looking back at these videos and seeing, you know, what I got that year and everything. And gift giving and gift receiving is one of my love languages too. So it's just a really fun moment for me. I love doing this and I'm so grateful for everything that I got this year and I thought I would share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've got everything kind of around me. I'm just trying to decide where to start. I think I'll start with this gift here. So this was a gift from my parents. The box is absolutely gorgeous and it is a crystal rose. It is so, so pretty. I love it. This is going to go somewhere in my room. I'm just not quite sure where yet. I had it like on the tree before filming this video. Obviously, now that Christmas is done, the Christmas decorations will be coming down soon, but I'm going to find a more permanent home for it for sure. It's super pretty. This was from my parents. I love that iridescent shine that it has. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. So the next gift that I got is also from my parents and I was actually looking at this on Amazon a while ago. I didn't ask for it, but I guess they saw my search history and they bought it for me for Christmas. It is a pink backpack. Now I have a few backpacks, um, none of them are very practical, they've all got like thin leather straps and when I'm carrying a lot, like my laptop and my books and all that, it really hurts and I have a ton of back problems. So um, they finally caved and got me a backpack because I wouldn't buy one for myself because it's my last year and I didn't see a point, but I'm actually really happy that they did. It has a little phone charger too, which is really cool. It's got the anti-theft pocket at the back and it's got a bunch of different pockets all throughout. So it's going to be really, really useful. And of course it's pink and it's really cute. And it's gonna be so much more comfortable than what I was doing before. So I'm grateful for that. So this next gift is from my boyfriend. And if you watch this vlog here, you'll already know what it is, but I'm obsessed with it. He got me a pink hoodie for Christmas, which is basically this giant wearable blanket. It's got this massive, massive pocket that you could literally probably fit a laptop in. It's that big. The inside is lined with like that Sherpa material and it's so warm and I am always cold. <laughs> like it's a problem. So I love this gift. It's got a little hood as well. It's just so cozy and I've been wearing it literally every day since I got it. I love being really fancy when I go out, but when I'm home, I just want to be as cozy as possible, you know? So I love this and I love the color. It's just adorable. <laughs> so this next gift is once again from my parents. I was so excited when I opened this because I had been wanting this so badly. How pretty is this box first of all? So they did get me a little Dior fragrance gift set and I'm just obsessed. I just asked for the perfume, so it was really surprising that they got me the lotion as well in this little gift set, but I'm so grateful, it's so cute, and I'm definitely gonna display this box somewhere in my room because it's so pretty. That just slides off. Look at this box, so pretty. And then on the inside, so it comes with the J'adore perfume, which was the one that I wanted. This smells so, so good. I just couldn't justify buying a perfume for myself because they're so expensive. And then it also comes with the J'adore body milk, which I've been using so far and I've been absolutely loving it. So I got a lot of bath related gifts, so I will show you those next. First of all, my youngest brother was super sweet and he got me a bag of little bath bombs and bath fizzes. I, oh, I can kind of smell it. It's really nice. It's kind of got like a floral scent to it. It is difficult to smell it through the bag and then also the wrapping on each bath bomb is individually wrapped. So it's hard, but I can kind of smell it. It smells really floral and nice and they're pink. They're super pretty. If you can hear that noise, I'm very sorry. That's my brother's um, using like the, that floss thing, if you know what I'm talking about, like the water pick. It's really loud. Okay, the next bath related gift that I got was from my boyfriend's mom and she got me this little pink hair towel, which is so cute. And that's going to be really nice for, you know, when I get out of the bath and need to dry my hair, this is going to be really, really useful. I usually just wrap like a big towel around my head, which is fine, but it's so heavy that it just like, I don't know, it's very tiring. This is going to be really nice. And then the final bath related gift that I got, I was actually really surprised that my parents got this for me because I never mentioned that I wanted this but I guess they just saw it and thought like, oh, she'd probably like that. And they were right because I'd been looking at something like this for myself. 
um, but it is a little bath pillow which is going to be perfect because I take really long baths um, at least weekly sometimes more and it's just gonna be so comfy and cozy and I absolutely love this it's shaped like a little flower too so it's really adorable and I'm so excited to be able to use this now I got some makeup related gifts from my Zia my aunt as well so I will show you those now so she got me two gift sets from Charlotte Tilbury which is like one of my favorite makeup brands and they just have the prettiest packaging ever so unboxing Charlotte Tilbury on Christmas is always lovely because they just have the prettiest wrapping and this one has the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes the Pillow Talk Color Chameleon which is like an eyeshadow pencil I used that on Christmas Day and it was actually really pretty I love the color of that um, it's got the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat and the Pillow Talk Matte Revolution Lipstick. I love the Pillow Talk Lipstick. I literally use it daily and I was starting to run out of my other one. So I'm really grateful that I got this because I literally wear it every day. <laughs> and then the second gift set has the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes in the full size. And it also has the Pillow Talk Eyeliner. And it's like this beautiful brownish eyeliner. and. I actually love the formula. I tried it the other day and it's really gorgeous. Sticking with the theme of beauty, it's a noisy day today, I'm so sorry, but sticking with the theme of beauty, my boyfriend's mom also got me this little nail polish set from OPI and it's got the most beautiful pale pink colors in it. It's really gorgeous. Um, I have these press-ons on for Christmas, but I don't like using them too much because they don't last very long, but they're really good for like a single day or two's use, so I use them for Christmas Day, but I'm definitely going to be using these now once these ones come off. My parents also got me this Tangle Teaser brush, which is really good because my other one, the bristles kind of got soft, and it wasn't the fault of the brush, it was my fault because you're not supposed to use it with heat, and I did. <laughs> so that one was on me so I'm grateful that they got me this one because I do love their brushes so much and it's super pretty in this pink color it's got a darker pink at the back as well and this one's like a bit bigger um, so yeah I really really love this it was a really nice and thoughtful gift and I've been using it every day since I got it okay so this gift is one that I actually did ask for it was on my list and it is a little mini coach wallet I really wanted a small wallet to keep my cards in and to have my ID in because I've been using like a little case on the back of my phone, but it's just not ideal. I mean, it's very convenient. It's very easy to reach for things when I need to, but it's so bulky and I had like a glitter one and the glitter was coming off and the little stand for it also came off and the gold was like scratching off. So it just wasn't nice. I had been through a couple of them and I just wanted a nice little mini wallet that I can easily throw places that I can like hook up and attach and then also have my ID on it because obviously like with vaccine passports and everything right now it's just so much easier to be able to pull it out and be like look there it is and not have to reach every time and pull it out like that so yeah I'm really grateful for this one and it also has like a little coin pocket which is super super great and I love this color it's super pretty moving on now to some of the books that I got this year so the first one is from my Zia and it is the Paris Through a Fashion Eye by Megan Hess. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but last year my Zia got me the Fashion House one by Megan Hess. And I asked her for this one this year and it's just so, so pretty. Megan Hess's illustrations are just gorgeous and I've been like casually flipping through this one and it's just beautiful. It's got this gorgeous rose gold foil on the edges and it's gonna look so pretty on my bookshelf. I just need to make a spot for it. <laughs> the other book that I got was from my parents and this was one that I really wanted. It is called the Fashion Design Reference and Specification Book and it's super dorky like it's not it's not a pretty book or anything like that. It's literally just something that I really wanted to learn about. It has everything that fashion designers need to know every day. Collection theory, fashion history, color, textiles, accessories, pattern making, stitching, finishing, portfolios, branding, marketing, shows, technology. Everything is in here and I have been reading it at my leisure and it's very informative and I really love it. Um, I think what I'm most excited to, to learn about right now is like textiles and different textiles and when to use them and stuff like that. So I really love this little gift. So my other brother also got me a gift. He got me this adorable little pair of earrings. Let me see if I can focus it. Okay, it's a bit bright, but they're little rose gold Mickey Mouse earrings. 
and they're just so cute. If anybody knows me, they know that I have a Disney obsession and I love rose gold jewelry, so this was a perfect gift. I have a little rose gold name necklace and the font is in Disney writing, so this is going to match perfectly with that and it was just such a cute little surprise. I loved it. My boyfriend's mom also got me a couple of little things from Bath and Body Works, so she got me, first of all, the champagne toast candle, which if you've been on this channel at all, you know that I love champagne toast. It's like my favorite fragrance from Bath and Body Works and I have everything you can think of I've got the lotion the body butter the body spray. I have everything. I even had the candle, but mine is actually done now So <laughs> this was came at the perfect timing. I love the smell of this and she also got me the hand lotion, which I love these because in the winter my hands get so dry. I have it on me all the time. And again, my other one just ran out, so I'm really grateful to have a restock. His mom also got me this beautiful little winter hat, which I love. And it's actually got all different pom-poms, so you can change the pom-pom. So you just pop it off like a button, and then you can pop the other ones on. How adorable is that? I love how there's like a pom-pom for every mood. Um, it's so cute and I just adore it. I actually got quite a bit of winter related things, which is really nice. Um, I got a pair of winter boots, which I don't have with me right now because they were actually too big and my parents are out at the store trying to exchange them right now. So I don't have them with me to show you, but they are super cute. They are not like bulky or anything. They are adorable and they're in this beautiful ivory color. And then I also got a winter jacket, which I'll show you now. So this is the winter jacket that I got. It is slightly longer than the current one that I have been wearing. Um, and it's more of an off-white, which I prefer the off-white colors. It is a down jacket, so it's super warm and cozy. And I'm really grateful that I got it because it's definitely an essential for this time of year, especially in our Canadian winters. There's currently a blizzard outside my bedroom window, so it's definitely good timing. And then finally, I also got this adorable little vintage pink car ornament from my parents. Super cute. Um, they saw this and said that it just reminded them of me because I love all things vintage and pink. And this looked like a little pink vintage car. So, and they were right. It definitely is my sort of thing. I really love it. Um, I always said I wanted a pink Cadillac, so. <laughs> this is what they got me. I'm just kidding. I love it. Um, I don't have a license anyways. Like I had a license, but then it's gone now. So I let it expire. I hate driving. Anyways, you guys, that is the whole video. I'm so grateful for everything that I got this year and for everyone in my life. It was so nice to be able to spend Christmas with everyone too, because last year, obviously with COVID, we didn't get to do that. And I was just really grateful to be back this year and be able to do that. Um, I love Christmas time so much. Like I said, gift giving is one of my love languages. I love doing it. So I was really grateful for all of the gifts I got to give this year as well. Um, I do just want to say that this is going to be my last video of the year. And I am going to be taking a little bit of a break at the beginning of 2022. I really hope you guys understand. I just feel like I need to take that time to kind of refresh and also brainstorm some new and fun ideas for you guys. I feel like I'm just in a little bit of a slump right now to be totally honest with you. And I really don't wanna just put out videos that are just okay, you know? So I just wanna take that time to refresh, take a little like vacation time, staycation time for myself at home. And I will be back mid-January for sure. So I won't be gone for long, but I did just want to let you guys know that. If you want to keep up with me in that time, definitely go follow my Instagram because I will still be posting on there during that time. But thank you so much for all of your support this year. It really means the world to me. And I will see you guys in the new year. Bye.